Hey what's up ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nizalea and today it's another Tip Trick Tuesday. In today's Tip Trick Tuesday I'll be showing you how to create a really cool blood title animation uh, where the blood is dripping off the title and also coming on in a kind of blood liquid way. Uh, it's a simple technique but I'm trying to show you this because it gives you so many options. I have been using it in some of the templates I have been working on and actually I've been working on some really cool templates and I would really love your opinion on them. So these are the templates I created for a Halloween. Alright, so in that first template you can see that I used the technique of the bats flying. So that's with the previous tutorial of the Tip Trick Tuesday where we were animating a bat and then on the Filmmaking Friday I created a kind of bat teleportation effect uh, which I did on myself but in this case I used it on the title. So you can see if you put all the puzzle pieces together you can get some really cool results. If you enjoy watching this video please give it a like, also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Apart from that, let's get started with the tutorial. Alright, so here we are in Adobe After Effects and as you can see this is something that we will be creating today. Um, it's essentially about techniques used into creating something like this, not so much on the result of it, uh, although we will be recreating this scene right here. Um, but I have used a bunch of techniques that I have been using in a bunch of projects, which I think are really handy uh, when it gets to uh, creating Halloween scenes. So uh, we will be taking a look on how to create a scene like this. Uh, we can see that we have this kind of blood animation coming on. We have the bevel emboss, which gives it that kind of blood texture, uh, which is not perfect, but it's um, basically just playing around with the light settings until you get something that you like uh, and then we also have if you are looking uh, very carefully right here uh, we have a normal text and it actually kind of drips out uh, we can see that right here if you kind of focus over here it's kind of dripping uh, some blood so that's really cool we have that animation as well uh, and then of course yeah the background kind of um, giving this kind of lightning um, and also the blood texture on how we created that one. So uh, let's jump into it and yeah, let's create a new composition. So I'll create a new composition quickly and this is actually the blood texture that I used. Uh, I know it doesn't look much like blood, but I actually transformed this texture into this texture so we can do some really cool things with this and it also is animated uh, as you can see right here uh, and it kind of looks really cool in my opinion you can do a bunch of, uh, of things with it actually so what I'll do is I'll drag this uh, texture into a new composition that I will be creating again so I'm going to close all these um, so you don't get um, confused here and I'll rename this to tet main comp okay so now we want to create another uh, composition. This is going to be our background. Well, actually, no, this is going to be our texture. And click OK. And now we will drag in our whatever kind of texture you have lying around. It doesn't matter. You just drag that into your scene right here and drag it up. So, of course, uh, I'm working with a low res texture and you can see that it does look uh, pretty crappy. It's not sharp at all. It doesn't matter at all. Uh, what we want to do is go for effect and blur. We want to go for a Gaussian blur and increase this to something like 25. So you have some kind of um, dark and, and, and brighter shades in here. So you can actually also do this with a simple fractal noise if you want to. I just try to do it with a texture that so happened to get me to this result. But working entirely in After Effects, you can get very similar results in my opinion. Then I'll go to effect and blur and sharpen and I'll go for a vector blur. 
In the vector blur, I'm going to set this to a negative amount, something like minus 75, and immediately you can see what this is kind of doing. Uh, we already get that kind of blood effect, which is really cool, or any kind of liquid effect. Uh, and then I will alt-click on this angle offset uh, on the stopwatch, alt-click on the stopwatch of the angle offset, and just write something like time times 50, which is a simple expression to animate it over time well, 50%. Uh, so you can see that now we have some kind of minor animation in here uh, and that's exactly what we need. So we don't need big things. And then I will uh, I will go again to effect, make sure that your layer is selected, effect, color correction, and we'll apply a tint effect over here. But instead of using the black and white, we wanna use some kind of red tones. So a brighter red, but still kind of dark. Um, don't go too bright with blood and it's really playing a lot around. So it's really hard to create a realistic looking blood in my opinion. Um, but something like this um, could work for whatever we're trying to do. And then lastly, what I like to do is go for effect distort and apply a CC glass effect to it. So uh, where do we have CC glass? I'm not sure if, if it's under distort, let's search it. CC glass, apply this to your layer right here. Open up the surface tab and change the bump map to none. And there we have um, no bump map, but now it's actually going to use its own layer as a kind of bump map. We can lower the softness down to something like, well, actually zero, uh, increase the height or play around with everything maybe some more displacement, maybe a little bit of softness to make it kind of like this. Uh, but then we get something like this looking, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can maybe scale it up a little bit more so we don't get these kind of uh, ugly edges, but this is a really cool blood effect. So uh, you can see that you can do a bunch of things with it. It's not only for text, um, but yeah, whatever floats your boat. And actually what you can do now is um, make blood text come true this. Uh, which is also really awesome, but uh, if you want to see that, uh, leave a comment below, because that's not for this tutorial, but maybe we can work on this uh, for a next tutorial. So the, here we have our texture, that's the first step of our tutorial. Then I will work on our text, so we'll go back to our TUT main comp, and I will go for the text tool and just write something like blood. Okay. Another cool thing uh, I like to do to my text oftentimes is uh, going to the effects uh, and presets and search for rough and edges. And if you apply this to our blood, we can see that it kind of roughens the text edges. So that also makes it look a little bit different. It's not like this typical font that you chose. Uh, you can also change this to like something like 35 uh, and have something like this. Uh, maybe 25 is a little bit better. Uh, but you can lower the complexity because the complexity is kind of what the, uh, creates the edges. So you can increase it if you want to go for something like this. I want to go for a subtle one. So uh, I'm going to set my complexity at one. And if we increase the scale, we're going to get some kind of bubbly kind of liquid text. So we can see before and after. And this kind of really helps to get you to the kind of blood uh, texture that you want. And if we set this to 35, we can start seeing that actually the text, the, the letters are kind of getting into each other, are kind of uh, like a real liquid. And what you can do is go to your text tool, click in between letters and hold alt and then press your arrow left key, which is going to, um, yeah, move letters together. And then you can do it over here, alt, move the arrow to the left. And we can do the same thing for the D right here. And there we have a nice blood text. So we can go for the text, well, the sharpness of the edge, if you want it to be really sharp or soft, it's completely up to you. Uh, maybe we want to go for like two uh, in this case. Uh, and we can also animate the evolution. So right here we can see evolution and we can animate our blood, like something like this, which is also really cool. Again, we do this the same way with alt clicking on the stopwatch and writing time times 50. And now we have a subtle animation in our text. Okay, so now we have our text, we have our texture, we want to combine two, so we go to project and search our texture that we just created. I'm actually going to rename this composition to that texture, so I should have created an entire new project, but yeah, I didn't. Uh, 
So we're going to apply, well, or drag our te texture in our scene right here below our text and then simply toggle the switches if you don't see track mat and alpha. And there we go. So now we have the blood texture in there and it's being our text. Uh, we can also scale this layer down if we want to have a, like a little bit more detail in our blood text and there we go. Cool. So we can click on our texture now and we can go for layer and apply a layer styles. It's completely up to you. Um, but maybe we want to go for the bevel emboss effect like I created before. And you can just simply jump into this and play around with all these cool settings. I'm not going to get into that for now because it's just basically that effect to, to create your blood. Um, you can yeah, maybe increase the size a little bit. Uh, but actually, yeah, I kind of like it like this as well. Uh, so yeah, just play around with it. Seriously, uh, it's not it's not hard, and it's it's not one of my it's not really a favorite effect of mine because it's it gets that really cheesy look. But in this case, it could work depending on the project you're working on. Uh, I actually uh, made a more advanced version of this text uh, in a different template as you saw in the preview, um, but. That's not for this tutorial because it's a little bit too complicated for now, but I might make a tutorial on, on that specific effect later on in time. Um, but yeah, we have enough to cover in this tutorial. So we have our bevel and emboss effect on our text and we have our uh, text with the texture. We're going to select the two layers and go for layer, recompose, tut, text and click OK. So now what I want to do is make the text come on the screen like blood. And that's also a very simple one, actually. So we right click and create a new solid layer and make it black. Click OK. Then create a new solid layer and make it white. And click OK. So we have our white solid layer. And what we want to do is go over here to our rectangle mask tool and drag a mask just on top of it. So out of our canvas. And then press M on the keyboard and click on the stopwatch for the mask path. Then move the amount of frames forward that you want. Go to your selection tool and select these two bottom keys. And then shift, drag it down. So we have this kind of animation, really simple. But now the fun happens when we click on that layer and we go for effect, distort, turbulence, displace. And there we have it. We have some really cool kind of blood. And it's already kind of animating, but if you want to go a little bit further, you can go for the evolution. Alt click on the stopwatch for the evolution. We've done that a bunch of times in this tutorial. So you really see uh, the purpose of expressions. And again, time times 50. And now you have this kind of animation. And of course you can go for size 50, increase it. Uh, if you wanted something like this, uh, maybe more complexity, less complexity, that's completely up to you. Maybe we can go for a, a little bit more this time. Um, and yeah, we can get some really cool results. Then select these two layers and go for layer pre-compose. And this is going to be our uh, third blood transition. Okay, and again, we can use this blood uh, transition as information for our third text. So what we'll do is click on the third text and go for the track mat. And in this case, we're going to choose Luma mat because we want to look at the whites and the blacks and everything that's white is going to be visible. Everything that's black is going to be invisible. So if we click on that, we can see that our text now gets on the screen just like blood. Really cool. All right, uh, we're getting there. So I'm going to select these two layers again and I'm going for layer pre-compose and this is going to be our uh, blood text. Tut, um, yeah, I'm just going through this uh, a little bit faster than usual, but if you want to see something again, just go back and, and see the effect again. There's just so many things I want to cover in a, a kind of shorter time period. So we'll click OK. We have our blood text right here. So it's animating, uh, we have the texture, we've done a bunch of things. All we need to do in order uh, to kind of finish it off is have this kind of blood dripping. And that's also a really cool effect, actually. So to do that, we can click on our layer and go for effect, distort, and search for liquify. Click on that effect. And in here we can do a bunch of things, but we only want to use this kind of smudge tool right here, which is kind of familiar from Photoshop. We can go into the warp uh, tool options right here and change the pressure to something like 95. 
and the brush size to something like 15. Then click on this tool, the first one right here, and start drawing your dripping blood. And you can actually draw it like this, and then you have this kind of really sharp um, blood. What you can do is just push it back up, and that way you get this kind of more uh, rounded or special kind of effect. Make a few uh, like this. You can even go in here and make it even smaller. So we have some smaller dripping blood effects uh, if you want to. And just uh, do something like that. Maybe in this also. Uh, we can also make it a little bit bigger maybe. And then go click on the effect again and go over here like... I'm just going to exaggerate the effect because it's completely up to you uh, to take your time and, and make it all beautiful. Uh, and actually this could work, it's kind of funny to, to see it like this. Um, but yeah, so it's completely up to you, but you, you get the idea what you can do with this effect. And now the cool thing is to animate it on is very simple. Just go to the beginning and click on the stopwatch for the distortion percentage. And if you change this percentage to zero, you can see that it's not affecting our text at all. But right here, if we uh, animate it to 100, we actually get a very nice animation. And we have our blood dripping effect. So our text comes on. Like right over here. By the way, if you want to make your text come on a little bit sooner, what you do is just go over here. Uh, maybe lock the layer and just jump into uh, right here and jump in this one and then just drag this uh, composition to the right here and let's see where we have this blood dropping. So we can select these two layers and just move them forward. Okay, and there we go. So now it's going to animate on faster so we can just put it back and continue. So now from the beginning we have this animation on our text and then the dripping blood. Okay, so there we have it for the text. This is the entire process of uh, making the effect that I just showed you in the beginning. Um, but there's one more thing. So we have uh, maybe a nice texture of a background in a forest. Um, and again, it's a low texture file. We can see that it's a very low uh, low quality. And the reason why I've done, done that is to just to, to show you that you can u really use whatever. So we go back to the third main comp and apply this in the background. And we have our image. Let's scale it up. And of course, this is too ugly to show because it's so low in texture. We can go to effect, blur and sharpen and maybe go for a camera lens blur. And yeah, there we have it. So because of the blur, it's kind of out of focus and it works. So we can click on our um, background and now we can go for effect, color correction and apply an exposure effect right here. And this is a really cool one to fake kind of a lightning or storm in the background. So what I'll do is alt click on our uh, stopwatch for the exposure this time and go for wiggle and open the parentheses 10, 10 times a second, comma, change value 5 and close it with the parentheses and then click away and immediately you'll see that we have lightning. And of course you can uh, maybe lower this to something like 3 if it's a little too intense. But because we are changing 10 times a second three values, it can actually also go under zero, so we can get a very dark situation. And it's just a fun thing to, to have in the background. You can do it manually as well if, if it's not your thing, but um, I like to automize things. So there we have it. And of course you can animate uh, the blood transition slower just um, by, by slowing down your mask because maybe it's a little too fast in this sample, but um, yeah. That's basically it. Alright, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. And also check out our website. We have a bunch to offer for any kind of digital creative. And if you buy something from our website, it really helps to support this channel. So, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.